passport hello friends this is sanjay and welcome to my youtube channel and today we will implement laravel api using passport first of all we open official website of laravel laravel.com click on documentation and click on official package after click click on passport api authentication using passport and first of all we have to install our laravel project we create a project i create a fresh project for passport then i open my terminal if you are using windows then open your cmd cmd composer create project prefer list laravel laravel and name of the uh, v dz hack okay using this command you can create a fresh project of laravel then up after 2 to 3 minutes your project will ready to use then we check the introduction you can read the basic things Laravel already makes it easy to perform authentication via traditional login forms, but that about APIs. APIs typically use token to authenticate user and do not maintain session state between requests. Laravel makes API authentication a breeze using Laravel Passport, which provides a full OAuth to server, imp server implementation of your Laravel application. Actually, nowadays Google is using a OAuth server. Then I think our project is almost ready. Okay, now our project is ready and go to the project folder DC Health. Okay, then our project is ready and I will open DC Health dot test yeah our project is ready and first of all we will make a simple out php artisan make out okay using this command we can make a login and register by default made by laravel okay get login and register okay then first of all we have to connect our database and we have to open i will open this in my visual studio code sites dizzy health i open all project in visual studio code editor okay now we have to make a database for this project localhost and add database dz health okay now i have to change the dot env file uh, database name dz health username is root password is blank now database is connected go to the laravel official website and first we have to install laravel passport 
and we have to type a command composer require laravel passport okay using this command we can install a passport in our existing laravel project now this is installing and our laravel project is 5.6.12 okay this is the latest version of laravel now laravel passport is installed and we have to migrate and after that we have to migrate php artisan migrate okay and we have to check in database refresh okay now all tables are created and after that we have to install the laravel php artisan passport stall okay after that client id client secret is generated and we will check okay now OAuth refresh token password reset OAuth client okay next we have to changes in some files open a user model model is inside the app user okay now we have to type a uh, notification not we have to type here uh, has api we have to type has api tokens okay and you you have to check in the documentation yeah this is okay. and we can copy this and paste okay now done and next step we have to open the out service provider out service provider is inside the providers inside the app and click on providers out service provider some changes we have to make here use laravel passport passport and after that we have to write here passport routes okay and now we have to check the next label okay we change here passport route okay now once we have to change in config config is outside the folder config out and we have to change here token and we have to write a passport okay now we made a uh, most of things and next level we have to create a front end front end that means key we have to create a token and use api okay now our project is almost oh it's a laravel error out service provider sorry out service provider i type mistake okay oh now great and we register
okay now I registered an automatic login okay now in the front end we have to check a laravel documentation in using view okay then we have to type a command php artisan vendor okay just copy and paste here now created a files we have to check where is the created Cre uh, click on resources assets js and all components are created inside the passport directory okay now we have to edit in app.js just we have to copy all things and paste inside the app.js okay this is an example component okay now I paste here and we have to copy and paste where we have to display the dashboard okay now I have to display in views home okay in the home directory okay now we here now we have to check display or not okay not and type here uh, d id equal to app okay now we have to check okay 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 this is not working okay we have to run the command npm install and we have to wait some time let's take some time okay now our npm install and we have to run npm run dev for development now it's created js we have to check again it's working or not yes now display create a new client create a new personal access token we have to test okay this token is created and using this token we can access all things in the next episode we will learn how to use this personal access token using access api for today thank you thank you very much